Vegas technically, but we landed yesterday and it was chaos. I've been to an event. Welcome to the vlog. What's up, Silent Mike? Sleepy boy. Uh, that's the man behind the camera, the the creator. We landed. We left Sack at like, or I left my house at five thirty yesterday a.m. And then we went to the meet. We're here for USAPL Nationals, and it was awesome. First event I've been to of this caliber and any fitness event in like five years. And then it's my first nationals. I think it's a lot of people's nationals after COVID and, and everyone's in a good mood. It was cool to see so many familiar faces. Um, and for the first time ever, ever, I've traveled for 10 years now for work. I'm trying to be a good fit guy. I'm trying to be a bodybuilder. So it's, it's actually a little late. Eight o'clock, late for me, I'm, I'm old. Early for him. Eight? I opened up the gym. I know, but that's like eight, that's eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it it's not that crazy. So uh, this is the pre-workout. We're gonna go meet Bart, Gio, and then who knows who else um, for a quick sesh. I probably got full body because I didn't train it yesterday. I know this is typical, don't judge me, but we're in Vegas and that's the only protein bar you could find. They're fine. It's like old, steady, old, Reliable. Old Yeller. Yeah, Old Yeller of protein bars. Bear Bell, not sponsored by any of these sons of bitches. Bear Bell is the best protein bar I've ever had. Quest is really good, but, you know, we're, we were talking about doing a protein bar tier rank thing. So, maybe we'll do that. Um, low key, one of my favorite energy drinks, uh, Rockstar Original. It tastes so much like chemicals and fertilizer. It brings up the nostalgia of me having a 5.0 KD of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in 2010. So that feels good. Aquafina, you know what we should do is a water rank. People have big opinions on their waters. Some people hate Aquafina. Yeah, they think it's dog shit. Too. I think Aquafina is kind of good. Yeah, <laughs> it's not S tier, but Aquafina is kind of good. So we're gonna chug this, we're in a fucking desert and you never drink enough water when you travel. Um, probably shower, hit the road, find Bart. I think we'll get like some B-roll here, but I think there's gonna be a totally separate training vlog. So we're gonna do like a interwoven time thing. This video is gonna be like the whole meet. I'm gonna secretly film because we're not supposed to film in there on this guy. And then we're gonna have a gym vlog with Bart and them. So stay tuned for both. Um, I'm gonna get ready and get pretty. Fit check on the way to the gym. Again, the vlog will be a different video. One of my favorite three is BT's. Just kind of oversized, kind of a cranberry, kind of a faded vintage maroon. Um, just some vintage shorts. Nike five inch, maybe custom. Maybe I'll teach you guys about it in time. The fat low ones, you don't even wanna, don't even Google those. It's not worth your effort to try to find them. They're old. Um, and my new favorite bag. Human made. I don't know if you guys know human made. It's just what I travel with. I've had it for a while. I got a bigger one that I use when I'm like biking around town because I got to fit more shit in it. But um, when I'm traveling, all I really need is like this camera and my wallet. And so it's perfect. Perfect for that. Um, but I use like a big old sling bag when I like go around town on my bicycle just because who knows what I might need or I'm carrying shit to the gym, etc. etc. So um, our boy's picking us up. We're heading to the gym. I didn't do a side post bar to use your stomach. Yeah, I can see his stomach from here. <laughs> How long you been with that? Far too long, bro. Dude. Oh, he's cute though. <laughs> what are you thinking when you make that facial pose? What's. I'm a descendant of a Greek god. Where are we, dude? We're at the world famous Boca da Brasil, Brazilian cuisine. Is it famous? Yeah. What are it's we? A, it's a, one of the best kept secrets of Vegas, from what I was told. Oh, so this is word of mouth, the word of mouth, the word of mouth. Yes, except this guy, he's a pretty famous coach in the UFC, and he coaches a bunch of Brazilian guys, and this is their home away from home in Vegas. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Just watch 
Watch this. You want to see a crazy transformation? Watch. Yeah. You see this thing where they... It's supposed to change. It did. No, I didn't that see... That so hollow. I know. Is it again? <laughs> His It's a fucking bongo. <laughs> Jared, Jared said just wait till I deplete the water. That's what Jared said. Yeah, I know. But he knows what he's talking about. So you're gonna get on stage next? Probably. All you would? Stages. Nah, never. You're naked all the time. Might as well. I know, I don't have the discipline to get down like that. You do, you do. Checked out yesterday Fitz, shout out to the boys, one of my favorite vintage shops. You guys always ask where I got my Star Wars tees, some of my kicks. Um, that's where I go, that's one of the main spots. You check them out on Instagram, buy online too. Now just because the young gun hasn't been anywhere in Vegas, he just turned 21, I want to show him a little bit of the strip. And so we're just walking around a little bit before we head back to the show. Uh, something that kind of inspires everything I do, the clothing, Third Street Barbell is like art direction. And it sounds weird, but like, I'm a big Disney fan. Um, I like the movies. I like Lion King, I like uh, Coco. There's a lot of the movies I love. But my hair is going crazy, bro. Um, what I really love is the art direction. So like every stone, right? Like everything is chosen to give you the idea and the advantage point that you're in Italy, you know, inside the rocks, the trees, the smells. You're walking through like the jungle thing and there's smells everywhere. Like I absolutely love the attention to detail that that takes. And that's what's something that really inspires like the clothing, the gym that we have. If you guys ever get a chance to go, go to Third Street. Vibing, sipping some water. Welcome to the Strip, welcome to Vegas. Then we're gonna meet back up, we're gonna go shower, get pretty. And it's prime that night, night, man. It's uh, Sean Noriega, Russ Wool, Bryce Lewis. All the homies are competing tonight, so I'm excited to watch some uh, crazy powerlifting go down. Did Barquan lose his mind? I think he's talking to himself. This is fake. This is all fake. State your name and w what you're doing here. My name is Sean Swole, and I'm here to crush the competition. Okay, and what would that entail? That would entail me going this thing called nine for nine. Is lifting weights war? Yes. Is it do or die time? Agree. Do you live for this shit? Yes. Do I slap you on the back before you lift? Hashtag please. I'm you. Did you defecate yourself in between those questions? No, I'm not a female. Defecate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means poop yourself, dude. Yeah, but you could defecate from the front. You know what I learned? What'd you learn? What'd you learn? That fellatio yeah. is both ways. What do you mean both ways? What does that mean? I thought fellatio was only to a penis. Yeah. But nah. Yeah, it means eating the pussy too. Yeah, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I thought that was Catalinga. Catalinga? Yeah. That's the island. Yeah, no, that's Catalina. <laughs> <laughs> Who we got tonight? Russ, Sean, or the Dark Horse. Follow the Barbecue Gruden. channel to find out, out our vlog what I answer. That's crazy, 3SB.co. Um, again, I don't know where. That's what I did. <laughs> Bar was making fun of me. I was like, I ain't trying to talk shit I was around talking, folks. I was talking, yeah. you didn't tell me, and he's fucking standing behind me. They're all the homies, dude. Oh, but, okay, but yeah. I, I, I... Russ is just the homie. Or the Dark Horse. But not, not only the homie, but I'm like, okay, he's gonna win. But, <laughs> Sean, I love you. <laughs> but if Sean, you watch this vlog, love you too. Hey, but if you edit this video, because we're gonna, this video won't get edited until we see what happens, so. No, I already know. Congra hey, congrats, <laughs> Russ. Question, but I got the real question. What's the real question? Who's more overrated? Overrated? The Beatles or Elvis? Overrated? Overrated. Elvis? Or the Beatles? Yeah, Elvis. Oh, Elvis? Yeah. Really? You ain't nothing but a hound dog? No, I'm a Beatles fan. Yellow Submarine. Can I, get, can I reach this Elvis? You don't see Elvis? That guy? Yeah. This fake is in a costume, you weirdo. He's not alive. How do you know? Dude, you can see his sideburns are glossy. You never, you met the real Elvis to tell the difference. I've seen him in videos. I'm a big fan. You're a big fan or are you not? See, dude, I caught you in your own lie. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a big fan of lying. All right. <laughs>
lucky. I've been to some pretty cool powerlifting meets. Um, all the backyard meets, if you guys have ever seen those on YouTube, kind of the, the real, in my opinion, revolution of raw powerlifting where Stan Efferding and Dan Green and all these names really came out and started to smash big weights. Um, boss of bosses, Jeremy Hamilton, Dan Green going head to head. A lot of really big meets. Uh, even some cool USAPL ones, man. You see the emotion in lifters' faces, it doesn't really matter the weight that's on the bar. If you've never lifted 315, it feels crazy to lift 315. Like, it, there's something you can never imagine you doing, and you're witnessing someone like conquer, like, an impenetrable wall, you know, like a glass ceiling type deal. Um, and now we're doing it with the best of the best. And honestly, the production of the USAPL Nats were pretty sick. Uh, a lot of good energy, a lot of big lifts. It doesn't really matter and you don't even know. They don't have it on the board. You gotta go on a website to see the score. Um, like who's sitting where. I can kind of feel it out because I just do quick math in my head. Quick math. But uh, you don't really have a clue. And so, But it doesn't really matter. Like it wasn't even that close of a race for a lot of it. Um, but it's just so cool to see how hyped they were and the big pulls, man. The, the sports cons so far, back in the day, 700 pounds was unheard of. And now every motherfucker on the planet is pulling 700 pounds. It's crazy, it's crazy to see. Um, I gotta find the bathroom and then we're gonna find the boys and I think we're gonna find some steak, hopefully, because I'm starving. I don't know where Bart went. Left Vegas at 5 a.m. Welcome to my house. This is the first vlog I'm doing in the house. 5 a.m. yesterday, came home. All I did was eat and sleep. But now it's time to rally the troops. Hopefully he's got pants on. Oh, he's naked. Oh, wait, don't come in here. You're naked? No. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, it's just a dirty room. I don't want to show the camera. Dirty rooms are dirty? No, that's, you got to show the authenticity. No, we don't. What is it? Cause you have, <laughs> is it because you have a dildo and a waifu pillow? Yeah, I have a, I have a uh, waifu body pillow. Do you see the- It's five and a half feet, like, I like my women. Do you see the TikTok? Uh, I should have sent it to you. Dude said like, uh, try to get a waifu pillow and then he shows it and it's like an alien from Star Wars, but it's a guy. Or I think it's a robot or something. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I wanted it. <laughs> are we walking? You got some, are those boots made for walking? These are made, what is it? How far are we on? Three blocks. All right, cool. Let's see, you know what that is? It's a perfect walk for a beer. A beer walk? Yeah, just don't get arrested. Put it in a cup. No, I'm not gonna. I think there's beers there. I'm not gonna hide. Uh, so I had to help my mom move a table. My mom was like vintage shopping too. She was at a uh, estate sale. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I, I stole Dan's truck, grabbed that. I don't know if you guys want more lifestyle vlogs, but we're going to a vintage store. A lot of you guys are asking about the tees and clothes I wear. And if it's not Third Street Barbell shit we design, if it's not the homies Barber Brigade, then very high chance it is vintage. And where do you get it? eBay. Now vintage is cool, so it's expensive. But... You can find deals and you can go to shops like we're about to go. Um, and I'll give you guys a little tour of how I shop and some of the cool vendors that are there. I think some of them have online stores, so maybe we can shout them out, show them some love. Let's go. Welcome to downtown SAC. I'm trying to be a real vlogger and I'm just not a good vlogger. So now I'm gonna practice whether this makes a YouTube channel or not, whether you guys enjoy it or not, we gotta get better. Huh. They say if you step out your comfort zone, do things that are uncomfortable, you are successful. Auto. Yeah. Wake up at 4 a.m. Put ice down your pants. Mm -hmm. Drink eggs. Stab yourself. <laughs> Literally the leg. I've never heard that one. Drink eggs. That's more of a Ricky Bobby maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> and then be uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Shout out my boy DZ. Uh, dude, I followed on Instagram for a while. I got a lot of vintage from it. Again, you guys always ask about vintage or where I got my clothes. And the truth is, like, vintage is cool because they're more unique, right? They're older. And then you can, to me, they have bigger, better graphics. You really, like, display what you're into. You can display, like, who you are and express yourself and that's all kind of clothing in general um we're not very social but the boys want to get social because it is a nice day so there's a little event down here i don't know what it's called but it's like a edm concert but we're gonna go to the bar right next door and see what's going on not a lot of 3xl boys huh they don't like big boys, man. We, we only live in the fattest country in the world. Yeah, but these clothes are from the 80s and 90s. I feel like if you're a booth and you have a sign up that says like, yeah, big boys vintage or big boy machine. But it's the same with us, right? For like 3SB clothes, we sell way less 3S, 3XL. Oh, true, true. Yeah. It's just, what well, they, makes sense. the bell curve. Yeah, I had a Rachel's. So what really stood out to me was uh, the graphics in really good condition. It has the year, which I like. Then you know it's like actually vintage and I'm messing around. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm not like a whale guy or nothing. <laughs> I just like, you know, some people like have animals. One of my aunts, uh, 
Pearl House with like cows. They just like connect with that. I'm not like that, but I like the blue. Oh, I had a you know family I mean? friend who had yeah. all elef uh, yeah. elephants or, or uh, giraffes. Yes, yeah. Bro, giraffes everywhere. Are we yes. cool filming here? Yeah. I think it's fine, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I like the blue. The blue popped out to me because I got a lot of black tees, but again, going to vintage, you can express yourself and these graphics tend to be bigger. Now that's slowly coming in style, but um, so that's what I was about. Yeah, so I like the big graphic. I got nothing special for whales, although orcas are quite intelligent, but I like the blue there. This is another workout tee. No, I didn't know you got Shout out to the boy at Primo. I didn't know you got that one. Yeah, that's it's clean. looking sick. I'm not even like that much of a Green Bay fan. I'm not like a Spurs fan, but that's fucking No, that one, your, graphic, your graphics are one of my favorites. Oh, that's yeah. fucking sick. Oh, that's yeah. good. I do like Brett Favre. I grew up watching him. I like a Heather Gray. It's heavy. Obviously, vintage. Lee made a lot of stuff with Starter back in the day. Dude, I saw so much Lee. Yeah, Lee and Starter made a lot of cool sports shit. They were big in the 90s. He, yeah. Even like regular clothes. Like I mean, when did he win his third MVP? Whatever year that is. Third MVP. That's like his, probably his first, and then they probably did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 97. That's lit. 1997. QB club, dude. Yeah. And then let him rip. This is one of my favorite graphics I've ever seen. That graphic's really sick. Oh, I like yeah, that, that graphic like, is super dope. I'm, I'm not even like a Spurs fan, but I mean, I'm not against them also. Who doesn't it like doesn't you? even look like the Spurs. No, it doesn't It almost looks like that cup. I like, like the thing. old, like, eight, oh, remember yeah, the yeah. cup? Like, at the it's movie theater or dentist's yeah. office? You could rock a dope yeah. thing. It's like loud fan. Yeah, that would like be this. pretty sick. Yeah. I like this writing. No, the writing's cool. It's like a stone. Like Again, stone. it's just a big graphic. What year are we at? Uh, 95. Yeah, 95. Team Haynes. Dude, they, they put the actual model number of the team. That's the that's the year they own that. Uh, the year before. David Robinson, Tim Duncan's first championship. That uh, was probably late 90s. Either way, still dope. David Robinson, dude. The Admiral. They put the model of the Haynes on there. Yeah, probably. So it's the TH, the 0 oh, Maybe. That's kind of dope. Yeah. No, I'll have to look that up. No, Haynes are big. Yeah, yeah we got to start getting uh, to a but I told you that another one. Um, that we go to is once a month on Sundays. Um, they don't got my boy DZ, dude. Shout out to DZ, shout out to Primo. And maybe we're thinking about doing a little vintage thing at 3rd Street. We'll see. That's it, team. A little vintage day. I'm gonna cook up some ground turkey and some potatoes, because I'm trying to get jacked. Thanks for your sticking around. If you made it this far, man, that's a vlog of a weekend in Vegas. Traveled here 5 a.m. You know how it goes. We're actually heading to LA next, so the vlogs continue. I'll be in Los Angeles next week with the homies filming. I'm gonna vlog that. Try to get better at this thing. Thanks so much, man. New videos every Tuesday, Thursday. Appreciate y'all.